Hey guys, Mike here, coming from St. Cloud, Florida. Uh, here we are, and uh, I can't even tell you how many days into this quarantine. Um, not getting much better. So, what have I been doing? Well, I'm about the only one in my family still working. So, I've been, in a lot of my clients are drying up. Honestly, a lot of contracts are uh, getting delayed or canceled. And... I do work in the services industry, consulting, and if I don't have a job, or if I don't have contracts, I mean, I'll be out of a job. So I'm doing everything I can, right now mostly on the pre-sales side, to ensure that we continue to be employed. So I'm jumping in and volunteering in areas that uh, pretty much anybody needs me. So I'm doing some long hours. So that's, that's kind of where I've been. Uh, getting it done, though. Getting it done. Staying focused. Uh, speaking of Florida, unemployment here is terrible. Uh, like I said, most of the rest of my family and people that I care about are out of work. So, uh, my ex, for example, she applied for unemployment a month ago. Still hasn't seen a dime. She got a letter saying it needed proof of identification. Their website provides absolutely no way to up upload that. Every time you try to call, you get disconnected. So, we're going to have to try different hours. In the meantime, i got to make sure people are fed. So, that's obviously putting a strain on me and my finances. Uh, my wife, she arrived, as I told you earlier, from the Philippines, and I know she really wants to get to work. She'll be here a month, um, in a couple of days, actually, the 18th. It'll be a year she's been to the United States. Uh, proud of her. She's come a long way. But, hard to get a job in this environment. She's going out of her mind, sitting home, being bored. And I'm and me, I'm not very entertaining. I'm sitting in my office working all the time. So, so that's been, uh, that's been sort of fun. And then, today, this is a good part, um... My dad, he switched to T-Mobile. I love T-Mobile. But he lives in the middle of no damn where, Alabama. And he's having a hard time with his signal there. And I've been telling him to get a micro cell put in his house or do something. But So he calls me today, and I don't know why. It just went straight to my voicemail. And I was working anyway. I probably couldn't have answered it if he did ring. But he leaves me a message. I check the voicemail. Yeah, I need you. Call me back. It's important. And then later that afternoon, I get two more voicemails from him. It's really important. I keep leaving you messages. I'm sending you texts. It's an emergency. Get back to me. Now, you know, it's my dad, right? Sometimes he'll tell me there's an emergency and it ends up being not all that much. But um, this one just sounded kind of urgent about it. And, you know, you don't want to be one of those people that, you know, you want to be dismissive and then find out something else is wrong. So I'm trying to call him back. And by the way, I didn't get any texts from him. But I try to call him back. His phone goes to, sorry, but this account is not in service can't leave a voicemail, can't talk to him, so I try to send him some emails, try to send him some texts, he's clearly not getting it, so I try to contact T-Mobile, they're like, oh yeah, we can't help you contact him, but tell him to call us and we'll get him fixed up. I'm like, if I could tell him to call you, I wouldn't have to, right? Because it would be working. <laughs> uh, the logic. Anyway, so I called the lo his local police department, non-emergency number, and said, yeah, can you do a wellness check? He's, um, He's kind of an elderly guy, and he's living alone, and he left me some messages as an emergency, and to their credit, they rushed right over and um, found out he was fine. So he managed to make a phone call to me, and I answered it. He goes, you sent the police to my house. I said, yeah, yeah, you left it was an emergency. Here was the emergency. I can't log into my email. Can you help me? Yahoo wants me to pay him money. We really need to set boundaries as to what the word emergency means. Anyway, I'm glad he's fine. And I will try to help him with his email as soon as I get home. And God bless him. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad it was nothing worse than that. Uh, so this is just a daily update. I rearranged my home office. I'll do a video on that soon as soon as I get all the books off the floor. I got to get some bookshelves in there. It's really hard to shop for anything when the furniture stores are closed and stuff. So I may have to do something uh, cheap. And my wife and I were moving to our own apartment soon up the road. So... It's a lot of priorities, a lot of things pulling away uh, at my attention right now. Anyway, that's it. It's, I'm going to keep this video to like under five minutes. And by the way, you see about my hair and my appearance and everything. Um, I need to open barber shops or something soon. We're all starting to look a little ragged down here. Um, that's about it. So hopefully Florida gets her act together with the unemployment. Hopefully we all start getting back to work soon. We're definitely on the downward slope of this, uh, downward curve of the downward slope of this curve, downward curve of this slope. Um, it's getting better. Let's just leave it at that. It's getting better. And hopefully this thing will be over soon. I know I want it over. We all do. I want to get back to work. 
I want to get back to at least some form of the life we used to have. Anyway, it's getting dark, and this video is going to start to look grainy soon. So, take care, everyone. And until my next video, uh, stay safe.